hello welcome to my channel again today I'm bringing something new uh, for me because I've just realized recently that I there are some small things that I've incorporated to my life these last challenging times and they are really small tiny that's why the title but they make a big difference so I decided to put them together and make this video. I hope it's helpful. So it's all about habits, good habits and bad habits. The bad ones are gonna get you stuck in the mud and the good ones are gonna basically change your life, are gonna enhance your day and make you life of beliefs. Why do we repeat the same things over and over again? Why do we always live the same experiences and always get the same results? We all know why, that's the thing. It's not crazy. It is because we are habitual beings. It's because we like what we know. We like what we are comfortable with even if it's bad for us. So while looking at improving my personal situation in the last couple of years, I realized that I've um, implemented a, a few things. Uh, there are actually more than 10 and some are not that tiny. And so that's why I haven't included them here. I have only considered tiny habits, little things, small things that you wouldn't say they make a difference but they do and you only need to repeat it every day, incorporate it into your life until one day when you don't even notice that they're new, but they are there and they are making a difference. So some people talk about 40 days, I think it takes uh, to incorporate a new habit. I'm not sure about that, I'm, I'm not sure about the, the timing, but um, a month seems like a reasonable uh, time frame as well. But you know, it really doesn't matter, you just have to do it. Start doing it. What if one day you forget, you don't do it? It doesn't matter, you do it next day. <laughs> we need to be kind to ourselves. Anyway. These 10 things I have done, it works. Is my life a bliss? Well, somehow it is, depending on the day, but it really makes a difference. I promise. Number one is make your bed. This one was hard for me to implement as I got into the habit of jumping out of bed and literally leave it as it was until the evening. <laughs> That's a no-no. It'll take you one minute to really make the bed, honestly, and it makes a difference. It kind of sets you up for the day. Number two look out the window. I know it sounds silly, but it's not. It doesn't matter whether there's a gorgeous sunny day outside or a dull rainy day. Just appreciate it as it is. I take we all live in different locations and you might be looking out at an amazing forest or a bland building. It doesn't matter. Just take the best of it. Focus on the small things. As a last straw, you can look up the sky. <laughs> Number three, take three deep breaths. So far, it has taken us two minutes of our day to make our bed and look out the window. Take a couple of minutes more and fill your lungs as much as you can. Breathe life. We are used to breathe just about enough so we don't die. Let's change that. Count to three, hold and exhale. Number four, drink your drink. Let me explain. 
Maybe you're a morning coffee person like me, or you drink tea, or maybe you eat some breakfast, even if it's a glass of water. Regardless of what's about to go into your mouth for the first time today, drink it, eat it, taste it, give it your full attention. Don't watch telly, don't look at your phone or your emails, just not yet. Enjoy this moment. Number five is read something. But not in a screen, <laughs> just grab a physical book. With your hands, open it, feel the pages. And if you are not a book person, mm. just get one of these amazing mindfulness cards or quotes cards or a book of quotes, anything that is gonna serve you as your motto for the day. Number six, what are your plants? What? You haven't got plants? <laughs> we need to fix that. Even if only one in your whole apartment, please get one. If you think there are no living conditions for one, as I used to think, well, why are you living there then? I'm half joking, but listen, get a cactus. They don't really need much and they are still green and do the job. I live in a shoebox and I have managed to have tomato plants in my windowsill. Definitely get a plant in any form and water it, talk to it, say good morning, or even tell them a story. Just connect with nature. Now let's pause for a little bit because this one is kind of funny. This is based on a method called the Winhof method. I don't know if you've heard about it. There's been here in the BBC uh, recently a program. That's probably the only one I've watched in the last two years, that's for sure, <laughs> but I have. And it's been worth it. It's been really good. Is this uh, method based on breathing, uh, cold therapy, and is basically realigning your body and mind. And it's truly amazing. Check my link below, link to my blog, to my article, where I've linked uh, the website, the book, uh, and everything, if you're interested. It's really, really worth it. someone's day. It doesn't matter where, when or who. Can be on the train, the street, in the supermarket. It doesn't matter. Just say good morning and smile to at least one person. Just be nice. Number nine, listen to music. I used to be obsessed with music when I was younger, but I don't know how it happened. I just stopped listening to music just like that. And now, when I push myself to listen to it, magic comes back. Music is vibration, as everything else is. And no matter what type of music resonates with you, just let the magic get into your life, even if just one song a day. Number 10. Love Water. We all know drinking water is good for us, but have you heard about that Japanese experiment where Masaru Emoto proved that human consciousness can affect the molecular structure of water? I am talking to my water before I drink it. I'm sending love, as if it was a magic potion, and it works, because I believe it does. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, it's been great to dance, to make the video today. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do it more often. I hope you do as well. And I hope this has been helpful. Let me know which ones are you willing to implement. <laughs>